Welcome back beautiful people. In this video, I'll be talking about the two primitive abstract operations. But first, we need to understand what abstract operations are. According to the JavaScript specification, abstract operations are not part of the language. They're not part of the ECMAScript language, right? But they are solely responsible for type conversion in JavaScript. This simply means that they, they happen internally only. They're not like functions that we can call, right? So whenever, whenever, co whenever coercion occurs, whether implicit or explicit, one or more internal operations known as abstract operations are performed. Now let's talk about the two primitive abstract operations. When a non-primitive value is used in a context that requires a primitive value, the JavaScript engine invokes the two primitive abstract operations. Stay with me. The <laughs> So the two primitive abstract operation is solely responsible. Its responsibility is just to convert non-primitive values to primitive values. So its name basically explains what, what, what it does. It, it takes a non-primitive value and it converts it to a primitive value. Let me explain how that conversion happens. According to the spec, the two primitive abstract operation takes two arguments. The first one is the input. The second one is the preferred type hint. Now the input is the value that needs to be converted to a primitive. The preferred type hint, it gets depend, it depends on the type of operation you're performing, right? There are three types of, imp, of, of hints. Three types of hints can be sent. String, number, or default, right? So since the, the hints that can be sent depends on the type of operation you're performing. If you're performing a numeric operation, right, and the two primitive abstract operation gets invoked, it will send number as the hint. If you're working with string and it gets invoked, it will send string as the hint. But whenever the two primitive abstract operation gets invoked without a hint, it sends default as the hint. It's like, give me whatever you have. I don't, I don't have a hint. Give me whatever you have. Whenever it sends default as the hint, it, it just defaults to number. It uses number whenever it sends default as the hint. Except you're working with date, and then it would use string as the hint. Let me explain how the two primitive algorithm works. There are two methods available on every object that is used to convert them to primitives, right? Objects and non-primitives. The first one is the value of, the second one is a two string. Value of is just used to retrieve or to get whatever primitive value is associated with that object. And two string is basically used to convert it to a string, right? So let's see. Remember I said three types of, there are three types of hint or three types of hint can be sent, right? So let's see what happens if number is sent as a hint. If the two primitive abstract operation is invoked with number sent as a hint, it will call the value of method first. If the, va if the returned value from that is a primitive, it will use it. If it's not a primitive, the value of method would basically just return the value back and then it will call the toString method. If it calls the toString method and it gets a primitive value, it will use it. If it still doesn't get a primitive value, it will result in a type error. That is for, that is for number. Now let's see what happens if string is sent as a hint. If the two primitive abstract operation is invoked with string as the hint, the order is reversed compared to the first one, compared to the number algorithm. It calls the toString function first. When it calls the toString function, if it gets a string representation, it will use it. If it doesn't, it will try the value of method to see if the object has any primitive value associated with it. If it doesn't have, it will result in a type error. The third one is the default, right? When the two primitive abstract operation is invoked with default set as the hint, it will just set the default to number. It will use number as the default. And when it uses number, it will go through the number algorithm. Except you're working with dates, then it will set the default to string and go through the string algorithm. Another thing to note about the algorithms within JavaScript is that they are inherently recursive, right? So this means that if the two primitive abstract operation gets invoked 
and it doesn't return a primitive it will keep getting invoked until it returns a primitive or an error in some cases now i hope you understand how the two primitive abstract operation works i have an article on this topic and i will leave the link in the description below if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section i'll be sure to attend to it and i will see you in the next video where i'll be talking about the next abstract operation which is the two string two string abstract operation bye